Hey guys, uh, we are going to talk today about how you should go about watching these screencasted videos for my class this year. Um, I know that sounds silly, but there's a few simple steps that if you take, uh, your life will be a whole lot easier. So, so far in the first unit, the historical thinking unit, the videos have been far shorter. They've been two, three, four, five minutes, and they've all been about technology skills. So how do you create a blog? How do you upload a picture to a blog? How do you share a Google presentation. Um, they haven't been about history content. Uh, so the videos that are coming are going to be, some will be a little bit longer. Um, and also they're going to, some of them will start to deal with historical content as opposed to just technology skills. So the, the length might get a little bit longer, but the content is definitely going to change. Um, I wanted to let you know that I've talked to some of you, some of your parents, some other teachers, um, and gotten some feedback about them. It seems like people really like having those explanations there. Um, but people have had a hard time um, kind of following along because they felt like the videos maybe were moving a little bit too fast. So what I'm going to do today is try to explain a few things to you that will help you to use these videos maybe a little bit more effectively. The first step when you're going to sit down and watch one of these screencasted videos is you should close all of the tabs in your browser. So I've got my video that I'm going to watch up here. That means, yes, I'm going to close Twitter. And yes, I'm going to get rid of School Loop. And yes, I'm going to get rid of my email. And yes, I will even get rid of SportsIllustrated.com, where I can find all my sports scores. I've just got the video page open. That's the only tab I've got open on my computer or my phone. The second step is to take your phone and physically turn it off. Unless you're watching your the screencast on your phone, your phone should be off. So look, I'm going to take my phone, I'm going to physically turn it off. Whoops. This is what my phone looks like when it's turning off. It's off. That means I'm not going to text people. I'm not going to check Facebook on my phone. It means that this is away and it's not going to distract me. The third step is with all of the videos that you're going to be watching, there's going to be a Google form that you have to complete. So the third step is to preview the Google form you have to complete. This is exactly like what you do when um, you're attacking a document. You've got to kind of figure out what the important things are, what you're looking for. The Google form will tell you what you've got to look for when you're watching a video. So for this video here, I would go down and say, okay, what do I need to look for? I need to, what class period I'm in, what my name is, those are both easy. Okay, so I need to pay attention, because I can see here that it's about questions I have about the video. I need to pay attention to what I don't understand so I can ask questions about that later. That's the important part of this video. The fourth step is to have out a pen or pencil and binder paper or a notebook, uh, something to write on and write with. So binder paper is available writing utensil out ready to be used excellent step five have your earbuds or earbuds or headphones out when you guys were in the lab listening to some of the screencasts you complained that they weren't loud enough had you had these with you out and in you would have been able to hear them a whole lot better so that's the fifth step and then finally, the sixth step is when you're watching a video, use rewind, use pause. If something happens and you know you need to write it down, pause the video. If something important happens and you missed it, go back and move the video back and watch that and then get what you needed to get and then move forward. So as I'm watching this video, if something important happens, something important happens and I missed it and all of a sudden I'm right, right here and I'm like, ooh, something happened, I don't know what I missed. Hit pause jump back and as you're watching this it's like ooh something important just happened I needed to write that down I didn't get to it look here this pause button right here use it click pause say okay let me write that down okay it's written down now I'm ready to move forward in the video use pause use move back slash rewind it will help you I swear alright thanks folks that's it